Hi, this is Danny Huey with your CBS 19.TV web exclusive for Monday, May 27th. Nearly seven months after Hurricane Sandy damaged much of the Jersey Shore, the popular beach destination is again open for business. Memorial Day weekend is turning out to be a good dry run with the summer vacation season still ahead. The games are back on in Seaside Heights. Oh, it's back. It's back. It's back. We're back. It's back. 100 percent, but we're back. And the people who came back liked what they saw. Oh, it's great. It's really good to see everything back to where it used to be, almost close to where it used to be. Almost because the rebuilding continues nearly seven months after Sandy tore up much of the Jersey Shore. Vincent Storino's family owns Casino Pier. Before Sandy, it held 38 rides. Now this. How much progress have you guys made? We made tremendous progress. In three months, we've done what should be, what should take three years. It hasn't come cheap. Millions? It's millions. Tens of millions? I would say tens of millions. The new boardwalk alone costs close to $8 million. We did what we had to do to get the doors open, to let people know that Seaside Heights is open, but there's so many more things we got to do. Like more benches and lights, but Mayor Bill Akers is satisfied. You can walk the boardwalk north to south, and it seems like we got a few people up here today um, uh, enjoying it. A few people less than a typical Memorial Day weekend. I would say we're doing about half what we did last year. That hasn't dampened spirits, though. I mean, look around. I mean, you, can't, you couldn't ask for better weather. Couldn't ask for more people. This is great. This is the Golden Goose, Lucky Leo's. We knew it was going to be slow, but just the idea that we're here, and that truly is the remarkable thing. What a way to ring in 100 years on the boardwalk. And that's your web exclusive this Monday. I'm Dana Huey.